Thank you, Mr. Srinivasan, uh, for uh, taking us through the various uh, applications of uh, the photonics uh, in the aerospace as well as many other uh, frontline areas where it can be really adopted in the Indian perspective as well. Uh, moving further, now I'd like to invite and introduce our uh, two speakers, Mr. Marcus Bomblur, Sales Director, Laser Tech DNG Mori, and Mr. Maune Shachar, Product Manager, Carl Jais India. Uh, Mr. Marcus Bomblur has been serving as the Sales Director at the Laser Tech DNG Mori since January 2018. He studied Industrial Engineering and Sales and Management at the University of Applied Science, Kempton where he graduated in 2007, after which uh, he has worked extensively in the field of laser technology ever since. He has also worked in the numerous fields and held various positions in the field of laser technology and presents almost 15 years working experience and knowledge in this field. Coming to Maunich, Maunich is a graduate in uh, um, engineering and communication in 1994 and since been working in the field of product management and business development. He is currently the product manager of, for Kaljais India and is responsible for the business partner manager as for the IQS India. He has almost 20 years of experience in this field. A very hearty welcome to both the speakers on behalf of BDM. And before we start the presentation, such we we'll first like to have our first poll question. So can I request uh, my colleague Manohar if you can kindly run the first poll question? Yeah. So the question is the initial investment in laser machines are higher than the conventional machines. Is this the main hurdle for investments? Let us see what uh, the audience uh, uh, view it. We wait for a few more moments and then we'll get the results and we get a better picture on what the, uh, the feedback from the audience. Can I have the results, please? It's possible. Yeah. Yes, is the clear winner. I think uh, against this background, I would I'd like to invite our first speaker, Mr. Marcus Baumler, for his presentation on the laser material processing by DMG Mori, a game changer for the industry. Over to you, Marcus. Thank you very much and welcome. I'm really glad to have the opportunity to present in front of such a big audience. Thank you and very warm welcome uh, from DMG Mori here from Germany, where I am presenting, but also from DMG Mori India. This is where your contact partners uh, uh, are working for you. My name is Markus Bäumler. As mentioned, uh, I'm the sales director. Um, I would like to take a deep dive into laser machining. Um, and DMG Mori, I, I, sorry, I cannot navigate the slides. Could you just give me the right to do it? Yeah, I see it's navigating. Is it navigating? I only yes. can see the starting slide. Uh, just, uh, yes, Marcos, you can, I think you can do it now. You should be able to navigate it. Okay, now it's working. Okay. so. DMG Mori probably is best known for its milling and turning machines. This is what we can see here on that slide. There's more than 154 different products for milling and turning. But uh, if you go to the last line here, this is where the advanced technologies uh, uh, are popping, yeah? popping up. And these advanced technologies, I would like to take a deep dive today. And especially, I would like to take a deep dive for the laser machining. Thank you also for giving your answer for the first poll question, uh, as this is exactly what we are seeing. 79% uh, mentioned that the initial investments for laser machines are a big hurdle uh, 
to yeah to to invest or to uh, step into laser machining um i would like to um, show you a couple very nice applications of where our laser technology from dmg mori could be really a big big game changer and um, game changer of course always means quality as well as cost per part and this is what really the difference is in general for laser machining um, or laser processing laser material processing with our machines yes i admit the initial investment is quite significant but isn't it always the case that the cost per part is the game changer so if you could lift your quality on one side and on the other side reduce the cost per part isn't this much more important so let's please step into the discussion and the presentation and i would like to introduce the four different technology fields of what we are doing with laser machining one is laser tech shape laser shape means um, that we can ablate uh, material with by use of laser by use of uh, light yeah so we can do two different things one is laser ablation so we take away material for different, uh, it can be different materials such as tungsten carbide, diamond, it can be ceramics, which can be ablated. The next technology I would like to uh, set a focus on is the precision tool technology. The banner behind me is showing the laser precision tool uh, uh, machines. Here we are machining diamond tools with laser instead of using old fashioned ways like grinding or erosion. The next one is the power drill. So here all is about drilling holes by use by use of a, of a laser source. So uh, it's a very efficient process and it is already a game changer to the industry. There's many installations for all of these technologies I am presenting on today. And last but not least, there is the additive technology I would like to focus on DED, which is standing for Directed Energy Deposition. But let's move on in the presentation and start with laser shape. Here you can see um, a big example or a couple examples of what is possible with this technology. There is two main pictures on the left and on the right. On the left, you can see the surface texturing. So probably today you already have been in contact to uh, laser surface textures due to the fact that you have uh, shoes on uh, which have a texture on the sole um, uh, or if you have stepped up uh, stepped in your car your dashboard probably got surface textured by laser so the mold itself we are treating with laser on the right hand side this is what we call laser ablation and the laser ablation is a fantastic way to um, to, to offer a different uh, technology besides uh, die sinking by erosion. So imagine you need to ablate a very complex shape and would need to use 15 or 20 different electrodes. For example, for a material uh, like tungsten carbide, there is where really laser ablation makes the difference. And I would like to guide you through to a couple applications. Let's start with one of the main issues we are all facing nowadays, which is uh, the lack on chips. And chips are produced, or semiconductors are produced um, um, in, a, in, a, in a big process chain. And one part which is needed to produce semiconductors is such a silicon carbide disks. It's a disk, different size, between 100 and 300 millimeter. And you can see these um cones on the surface and this silicon carbide cannot con can conventionally not properly get machined but by using a laser these cones uh, are the remaining parts on the disc and the surface around in between the cones will get ablated and for this we are using a laser and this laser is um, dividing ma the material in layers and uh, ablating the material around uh, the cones away. So by doing this with a conventional process, the cones definitely would break, the quality would be reduced, and the machining time 
um, would would be in the moon. Yeah, but by using lasers for such a uh, surface ablation, this is just spot on. This is one application I would like to highlight. If we you probably have heard about nanosecond lasers. We just have uh, heard in the initial presentation, laser cutting, laser welding. This is where usually um, nanosecond lasers are in use. And for welding, of course, you need to have the heat. You need to have the power in the workpiece uh, to melt the material up. But sometimes this melting zone is not what you want to have whenever you would like to treat a surface, for example. And this is where we talk about the femtosecond laser. The femtosecond lasers have a wavelength, uh, which is the, still the same, but the pulses are much, much shorter. So the material doesn't have the chance to heat up. And if the material cannot heat up, the big benefit is that you don't uh, generate micro cracks, heat affected zone, and so on. So let's have a look where these femtosecond lasers can be used for. And this is what we can see, for example, for these press fit zones. So you, in the center, in the center picture, and on the left hand side, you do see uh, you do see um, a tungsten carbide uh, uh, press uh, or tungsten carbide tool. And the shape we can see here in the microscopic picture. This is what gets laser ablated with a femtosecond laser. The material is a, in, in this example, a ceratizid material, uh, a tungsten carbide, and the surface finish we can achieve on that contour by laser ablating with a femtosecond laser is RA0.1. How would you do that workpiece conventionally? I tell you, the industry so far is still HSC cutting or is using EDM machining. But I tell you, the machining time to do that, the toolware related to that is exploding more or less the cost. By doing this with a laser, it probably only takes a couple minutes. You don't need to have a tool. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to set up the, the process. You don't need to have any lubricant. You can directly work on the finished product. And this is where the benefit of the laser mater material processing or laser ablating really is sitting. Next example or three more examples just to show how versatile this technology is. And um, you get a, an impact or you get an, um, uh, an impression of how good the surface finish can be in the center uh, there's this stamping insert and you can see this rainbow effect and this is an indicator of how good the surface is is and the part um, got completely ablated you know the surface got completely ablated but i also admit laser ablating is not always uh, the right choice but imagine if you have very fine and filigree contours if we have small internal radii um, there, the laser material processing is by far the best and most powerful technology. I always complete, uh, compare laser ablating with, uh, with a ball nose cutting, but our ball nose cutter only has a diameter of 30 micrometer. It never breaks, it doesn't need any lubricant. And this is um, the picture you please use and see if there is any application uh, where this technology makes sense for you. Also materials, and here we are talking about, for example, a ceramic, uh, for example, a uh, aluminum oxide or zirconium oxide material. How would you do that shape on such a um, advanced material? And this is again where laser material processing is coming into place. So the whole contour, of that uh, uh, part here got laser ablated in a very, very good surface finish and uh, in a total design freedom. This is again a big, big benefit. So this was laser surface machining, laser shape like we call it. The next technology I would like to put the focus on is laser tech precision tool. As the name already says, here we are talking about highly precise cutting tools. Everybody, 
everybody of you is using every day more or less uh, cutting tools either made from tungsten carbide maybe made from a uh, uh, diamond like uh, pcd diamond or cvd diamond cbn and these tools we can sharpen these tools we can define uh, to an outstanding quality and um, i would like to show a couple of tools for different industries here from left to right from automotive to consumer electronics uh, to aerospace woodworking and the optical industry so whenever a pcd cutting tool is needed there is no better way then going with our LaserTech 20 or LaserTech 50 precision tool. Maybe the most um, famous and most popular example of um, sharpening tools with the laser is your beloved iPhone, your beloved Samsung phone, Huawei phone, whatever phone. These phones, when they are made from aluminium in the housing or um, for the connector plate in the inside, um, they got machined on uh, or, or with tools and these tools are produced on the LaserTech 20 precision tool. Um, there is an outstanding uh, uh, or impressing um, number of installations globally at all big and small uh, PCD or diamond tool suppliers. The benefit here, and this is uh, bringing me to the initial presentation reducing cost per part here we, this is the best example despite the fact that that machine is much more expensive than a conventional machine a grinding machine or a edm machine the cost per part can be up to 56 percent lower compared to the old-fashioned ways of erosion and also the benefit here is that that machine can also do different materials such as CVD, which is not able to EDM machine. It also can do chip breakers, for example. So please always have the flexibility of the machine in, in the background. Here there's just an example or a comparison between grinding, eroding and laser machining for the production of diamond tools. Um, the big benefit of the laser is the laser can ablate through the material. It doesn't matter if there is a diamond or a binder. The surface finish, the, the chipping, will get reduced significantly compared to grinding or compared to eroding. So usually this is a paradoxon. You always need to play between quality and cost per part. But with laser machining from DMG Mori, the benefit is on both sides. You can increase your quality by reducing your cost per part. So please um, let us prove what our abilities are should you be a PCD tool or diamond tool supplier. Applications are there everywhere from automotive to consumer goods to aerospace and woodworking. With references uh, um, all over the world yeah please just challenge us some more applications from complex to easy uh, there's everything possible from a small cutting insert to highly complex pcd step tools like here on the right hand side with a thread with chip breakers with a bell section with internal uh, internal small ready all this is possible by moving on to laser. Some new kind of applications are, of course, also possible. So from left to right, we do see some impressive results what laser machining can do for miniature tools. So on the left-hand side, this is a diameter 5 with 60 flutes. How would you produce such a such a tool uh, conventionally. 60 flutes on this free form geometry, almost impossible. On the right hand side, we do see a 0 0.5 millimeter micro tool made from diamond. How are you machining a diamond? With laser machining from DMG Mori, this is possible. Very sharp cutting edge of close to four micrometer. So this tool is really aggressive and doing a great job for the cutting process. 
So this was laser tech precision tool. Let's now move to laser tech power drill. Here again, the name is already telling us what the story is about high efficient laser drilling. This is what you can see on the pictures, on the prominent pictures left and right. So there is lots of energy needed, lots of heat uh, is needed to melt the material. So here we are not using femtosecond lasers. Here we are using, for example, a standard um, nanosecond lasers, fiber guided lasers with up to 23 kilowatts in power. For the laser ablation, what we have seen before, we are only using um, between 20 and 100 watt. So the power here is 23 uh, is, is 2003 times bigger than what we are using for ablation. The job here is to drill holes, like we can see here, a center drill hole, and to put a shape hole geometry around it. There is uh, we can say that approximately 50 to 60 percent of the aeroplanes uh, flying around the globe got machined and drilled on DMG Mori power drill machines. So very prominent uh, um, turbine manufacturers um, are using this kind of technology from us. Um, if you need to drill, for example, uh, combustor where usually between 20 to 100,000 drill holes are needed. The old way of producing it was by EDM. By laser machining, we can reduce the cutting time by or between factor 10 to 15. We can drill up to 25 drill holes per second. So this is a synchronous, synchronous movement of the C-axis. Uh, of the machine where the part is sitting on and the laser is giving pulses to that workpiece. So 20, up to 25 drill holes per second are possible. Here we can see the process chain for shaping. Remember, uh, shaping is, I go one slide back, um, to put uh, around the cylindrical drill hole, to put that shape hole around. Yeah, in order to force the air to go through that uh, hole diameter. Yeah, and the the process is like this: that we of course always start with machining a center drill hole on the left hand side. This is what what you can see. And if we go to the right hand side, step two is then putting the shape hole geometry around. And here, actually, we are using the same technology like we are using for our shape machines. So we have a scanner, and that scanner is directing the laser beam to the workpiece in order to generate an ablation, a layer per layer ablation. And then at the end of the day, we have this beautiful shaped hole geometry. If we now talk about laser drilling, pure laser drilling, there is three possibilities. Either you use a single pulse, so you give one pulse to a workpiece, and then with this one pulse, you define your whole diameter and you have completely shot through the material. The next one is the percussion drilling. Still, you are using the beam diameter to define the diameter of the drill hole, but give multiple pulses. Yeah, and the trepanning uh, is uh, where you are using still multiple pulses to pierce the material to cut through, but then use the kinematics of the machine to cut out bigger sections. So more or less, this is what you probably know from laser cutting. Yeah. So this is possible with laser cutting. The machines from us uh, can do three processes more or less in one: drilling, shaping and welding. But please now don't get me wrong, this is not a welding machine. This is also not a, a, a cutting machine. This is a, a, a specialized machine to produce air, uh, air foils, yeah? uh, turbine blades, vanes, heat shields, combustors and so on, wherever drill holes are needed. But we also can do shaping and welding. Yeah? Um, but we are not uh, we are not delivering welding machines to the industry, but welding also is needed for some cover sheets, for example, on these uh, uh, turbine components for that 
reason we are also welding yeah but specialized welding for that niche market all what i have presented so far is the niche market applications anyway yeah so we uh we don't offer laser cutting machines for sheet metal and so on this is not our business we are the specialized guys for very very challenging and uh, niche market applications yeah here you have a cross-section analysis through a uh, um, uh, a material usually this is uh, um, uh, nickel uh, or, or uh, inconel materials yeah and here we can drill uh, with a total length up to 30 uh, millimeter um, uh, drill hole length uh, the ratio you can see here is 1 to 30 so approximately one millimeter drill hole with a depth of up to 30 millimeter yeah but due to the fact that here you are uh, have uh, you have you, we are using lots of heat of course we have the, the heat affected zone and these um, these effects yeah some shaping applications how they are looking like on turbine uh, uh, applications on the right hand side the side view or the cross section view some close ups to give you the chance to inspect the quality. Usually after the laser process, these um, uh, parts are getting cleaned um, by, by sandblasting. Yeah? Sometimes also a chemical cleaning is taking place. Last but not least, there is the additive technology from DMG Mori. And here I would like to introduce two different technology. Bef uh, on the left-hand side, we can see the selective laser melting. So this is based on a powder bed machine. You have a machine, a uh, very uh, nice machine in terms of footprint, in terms of technology, in terms of uh, size. It offers a 300 by 300 by 300 uh, uh, um, uh, millimeter um, working uh, room to build uh, components uh, in, the, in that uh, range with up to two laser sources. Yeah, and this is a machine uh, an additive uh, machine we can print metal powder or metal parts um, the selective laser melting machines are in use whenever we talk about very fine and filigree components where you have internal cooling channels where you have thin wall structures and so on for example you can see some uh, parts out of general engineering here or uh, out of the tooling industry there so um, light white structures for example for tool bodies perfect application yeah or for the dye and mold industry with internal conforming conformal cooling perfect application below we can see the directed energy deposition the, the process is different here we are spraying powder through a nozzle we hit the powder with a laser beam melt that powder up and um, and 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 yeah um are welding on a existent surface existent surfaces we always have whenever we are talking about for example dye and mold repair this is what we can see with this uh, die cast mold which requires repair the benefit of that process is uh the benefit of that process is that we can um combine two uh, technologies on one machine so it is a hybrid machine directed energy deposition on one side so additive manufacturing and on the same side a milling machine a conventional milling or nowadays also a turning machine and this combined on one setup and this is what i mean with one plus one is bigger than two yeah sorry my math uh, uh i i haven't skipped my math lessons but the reason is why is one plus one bigger than two is you don't have waiting times in between the processes now you have all combined on one setup you don't have waiting times between milling or additive manufacturing you don't have um, uh, uh, twice the setup time which is important whenever you talk about big molds which require repair so this is an outstanding possibility to do metal printing metal repair on big molding uh, 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 parts 
Here, this is our so-called wall of fame, our success stories. Um, here you can see a couple impressive names like Sulzer, um, Sulzer, am I in Sulzer? They are doing these closed impellers. Uh, and by doing this, they have reduced their lead time from 35 days down to three days only. So, yes, and again, back to the initial question, is this the main, or is uh, the initial investment the, the main hurdle for the Indian industry to go forward with laser machines? 79% said yes, but please, now with this information, evaluate if uh, a lead time reduction in two days, um, uh, uh, in, in two days um, um, uh, lead times uh, wouldn't be a big impact to you. Also for Toyota, for example, we have uh, reduced the repair time for a highly expensive uh, die cast mold by 80%. Uh, I think the machine pays itself if you um, take these points and use it for your production. Should you have any question? Sorry, there is so much to talk about. 25 minutes uh, is, is just too less. Should you have any questions, please uh, ask myself or get in contact to my colleagues from BMG Mori India. They will be delighted to uh, talk about your business case. Thank you for your, um, uh, for your interest in our product.